Okay, let's go. There is not that much left in this game. Yeah. Starting off with going through the subway. Oh, great. Here, yeah. and I, I can't save you. Oh, Jane. Oh, sorry. No, he's not here yet. He's already left for the main hangars with Macready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Until I can talk to him myself. The mill around. Change in plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Map it up, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. Gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there, radical, augmented people, who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just, maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Dr. Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. I thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage, brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services, and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. Well, 
anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace. Canceling this event will only embolden all of them. planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talos Rucker, and they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. Several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. I plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Talos Rucker couldn't stop it from passing, but I can. Where are you meeting them? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. Men from the London Division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself, and I want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tavos Security, while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slade. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent, and keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Miller want to go alone with him. the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight. Members sympathetic to our rights. You understand they must be protected at all costs. Janus. Were you eavesdropping on me? Uh, forgive me, but the situation did seem to merit it. Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. <laughs> Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Adam, Janus is right. We'll see. Okay, okay. <laughs> Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief. Oh, right. He's um unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? Oh. I didn't. Look, I have an appointment to meet with Liam Stevens. Chief Liam Stevens. And I don't have a lot of time. Could you try him on the radio for me? I'll do better than that. You wait here. And I'll tell Stevens personally that you are here to see him, okay? Miller, McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to, and something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvos Security contact you yet? Negative. Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, where? Forget it. We stay on task. <laughs> Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. We're in. No problem. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. 
Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Access denied. Fuck alarm. Fucking hell, everything is going to be so hard. I've got Tarvos bodies up here. We are definitely compromised. Fuck. All right, men. Listen up. We expected something like this. Mac, how close are you to the CSO? Entering the stab. Oh, shit. Fucking doors are on security lockdown. I can't go anywhere but back. Jensen, there should be a security override switch inside Slater's office. Get in there, get the doors unlocked, and get Mac and his team moving again. Copy that. Security systems active. Confirmed. Override set up. Fucking camera out there. Fuck. Oh, the what? in the world of late but where there is darkness there is also opportunity and we must seize it 
We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we will make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. No, to the McCready. Group, CCTV the shows another compromised area. Back of the house, looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. It looks like our bogus Tarbosh units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Fuck! They're everywhere, circulating among the guests. What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative. Neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now, but Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. It'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retina log. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, man. Right. Right. I had to go what? hot. The guards inside the CS. No, 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 okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck that. Hey, um. How can I do this fucking quietly? Get in, get. What the fuck is wrong with this? This was so then. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> ah! Really? He's asleep. Why did that happen? Fuck. Damn it. Miller, McCready. I had to go hot. The guards inside the CSO know I'm here. Oh, that's brilliant. Just keep it contained, Jensen. Do not give them a chance to alert their friends. We of Parker, okay, um back. Oh, 
all of them is here. I have to deal with them. No, McCready. All targets in the CSO are neutralized. Best put on your tux then, Jensen. Let us know when you're inside the reception hall. Copy that. Granted. 
fuck no. You don't say, I mean. I am in a fucking... Dirt area. Inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one has the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. Why are you here? Got to have that key card. Search them well. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. Camera's good. Holy shit. Fuck 
come back up here again. It didn't go. It didn't go well at all. Oh fuck. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, and you. Copy on the report. Copy confirmed. Shanko's taking over the building. He's threatening to blow up the residential towers next door if I don't stop him. You do what you gotta do, man. But if the Orchid is in play, then his threat could be a smokescreen. The delegates, our future, could be the real target here. You need to find and protect them. Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! Right here, Victor. And you're done hurting people tonight. Mm. Yeah! Hurting them. Murdering them. Wearing death is the penance of victory for men like us. And I still have one death to wear! Shooting. Fuck. 
Подожди. Shoot those nades. And how the fuck am I killing him? Hell, I put them on fucking friendly fire. They are still unfriendly. Fucking four. What? Wait, what? I killed him. What? You should be stunned. like that thank you what mac the bomb threat is neutralized or check it was that easy it goes down and he won't be getting up for a while first fucking good news i've heard all day oh anything from miller he was supposed to be with brown and the delegates the orchid i've got to find them jensen out Fuck this shit, I have to lose. This ammo, fuck you then. How many tries I did. Or 
Sorry you're here. Fuck all of you. Fucking hell. Ah. Fuck you. Oh. We're there. How did I get there? Let's go here. No, what? Hello, help. Please. No, it's there. And I get down there. Yes. No. Where am I? Hello? What is this layout? Let me go down then. Showing me up here all of a sudden. What the fuck? Reception hall. Oh, I tried to stop them, but I ended up here. Jim, I'm sorry. I... No, this isn't on you. Understand? You're a good agent. Wait. Save your strength. No. Listen. That's. Not what I wanted to say. Uh, what I mean to say is, uh, you're a good man, Adam. Uh, even, even when I doubted, I, uh, I always knew. Dead. Bastards use the orchid. Christ. What about Brown and the delegates? I'll let you know when I find them. Alright. Fucking hell. Open that shit. More. More shit to deal with. Mm. 
That's the way I want to go. My fucking god, why did you what the fuck turret? You. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh, fucking, am I pressing everything? Access granted. Alright. Gone, bitch. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? I'm afraid there have already been casualties, Brown. Yeah, many people died. People Sorry about this. that. Then you have a long way to climb. Hmm. Oh, okay. That, wait, that's it? Never ask for this. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage. 
speech today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. They've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent, we can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell, it might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue, we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? This report just in. Law enforcement officials in Prague have tracked down and captured the bomb maker whose deadly explosive devices claimed the lives of dozens of innocent travelers earlier this week. The woman, an ex-army demolition specialist named Allison Stanek, appears to be a religious fanatic and leader of the tech cult group Church of the Machine God. Police arrested her and several of her followers inside the cult's headquarters, following an extensive investigation. If you ask me, folks, that is some very good news indeed. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, 
claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not ARC. He was trying to kill ARC, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samastad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Turning our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's neon operations. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks, neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic benefits, and if so, a government-approved version of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course, so only time will tell. Now that was long. <laughs> well... I can't skip this, okay. Well, mankind divided, Deus Ex. Amazing. But I feel like Human Revolutions was better. But this, these two games, wow. Hope they're gonna make a third one in this like storyline. Can't skip this fucking hell. Well then, this has been Two Sex Mankind Divided for you. Hope you have enjoyed this playthrough. I am Dunder Das, and I will be seeing you in something else. Bye.